finally the very first patch update is here so the two main issues that were resolved in this update was rage quitters and multiplayer matches and passing catching across all game modes here are some of the main fixes available in today's patch introducing a system to penalize rage quitters players who quit a match early will receive a loss they will also lose lp and not earn post-match rewards. Players who remain will receive a win, LP, and their post-match rewards. Improvements to matchmaking resulting in a improved connection rate. Stability improvements fixed for players losing control of the ball carrier and passing abilities. Improvements to passing and catching. Adjustments to accelerate the clock in multiplayer matches. Improvements to the custom logo. Explore page to address crashes user interface fixes improved profanity filtering for custom teams here's the detailed notes for gameplay fix an issue where lead blockers would not search for a target along their path fix an issue where receivers would get stuck in a block animation when pressed fix for several animation blends to address snap animations fixes to defensive pre-snap adjustments for blitzes and zones Catch animations updated across a variety of game situations to improve responsiveness and catching. Fix an issue where receivers would not align themselves correctly with the predicted catch starting pose. Fix an issue with sideline receivers hitching when they are free, triggering locomotion stopping that causes them to miss catches. Fixes to AI handling of movement in various receiver routes. Fixes to hitch route. AI receivers getting stuck strafing after catching the ball, increase minimum kick power, reduce maximum kick angle, updated kick indicator to reflect the minimum and maximum angle of the kick, fix an issue with running back motions and gun formations, fix empty audible selection when audibling out of extra point kick defense, AI QBs can now pass to halfbacks and fullbacks, fix to sideline catch animations, for more details on the user interface and as well miscellaneous things that they have addressed, you guys can read up on the patch notes to the link down below in the description. Let me know what you guys think about this and stay tuned for some gameplay after the patch or a possible live stream. Until next time, I'll see you guys later and I'm out. Peace.